Suicides in Riverside County have increased in recent years, along with the number of suicide attempts. So for the first time, the county will be hosting an in-person suicide prevention coalition summit. I spoke with the coalition's co-chair, Diana Gutierrez, about the summit and also ways to help those who may be struggling with thoughts of suicide. Diana, first off, tell us about the first ever Suicide Prevention Coalition Summit. Thanks, Peter, for giving me a chance to talk about it. We are heading into this third year of our Suicide Prevention Coalition, and for the first time, we've had the ability to get together in person. So we are having our first in-person annual summit that is at the Riverside Convention Center on October 27th. Um, we are having some keynote presenters that will be there to talk with us a little bit and learn about some best practices in suicide prevention. Um, we're going to talk about improving the lives of, lives of ethno-racially minoritized youth, integrating that sociocultural risk and protective factors in suicide prevention. And then we'll also have a presentation on planning for living or firearm safety in suicide prevention. And in the afternoon, we'll have some breakouts that help our subcommittees of our coalition refine their goals for year three. We know that everyone has a role to play in suicide prevention, and we're looking to increase representation in our coalition, our subcommittees that reflect the diverse needs and cross sections of our county. And so, and the response has been so much more than we've expected. Um, so registration is, is closed due to the high interest, but we are gonna be live streaming. So if you haven't had a chance to register, everyone is welcome. You can go to Facebook to the Riverside University Health Systems Public Health page, um, tomorrow morning, October 27th at 9 a.m. And we will begin live streaming the entire morning and both keynote presenters. So we'll live stream from 9 to 1230. So anyone can watch the live stream. Yeah. Diana, why do you think this summit was needed? Well, we have started, we built a suicide prevention strategic plan here in Riverside County in um, 2020. And in that same year, our local board of supervisors recognized that strategic plan as Riverside County's strategic plan for Riverside uh, for suicide prevention. And um, as a result of developing the plan, we built a coalition that brings together cross-sectoral community members and organizations to bring that plan to life and put all of the goals and objectives into action. And with the leadership of Riverside University Health Systems, Behavioral Health and Public Health Departments, we have now a gathering of eight subcommittees that work on the different areas within that strategic plan. And so we've been meeting for about two years now, uh, virtually. As we're approaching our second birthday, beginning to launch year three, we thought this was the best time now that we can gather in person to come together and be in one room together, learning some more information around suicide prevention, building our network even stronger. So as we head into year three, we can take um, those goals and, and move more toward achieving those goals, which is, of course, to end suicide in Riverside County. Let me ask you, what are some of the ways that we can help people who may be suicidal? And also, what are some of the warning signs that we should be looking out for? Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest thing is to um, pay attention, be connected. If you notice any changes in someone that you love or care about, um, the, the ways that someone may show that can vary. It might be things like um, they're feeling like a burden or um, being isolated is also a huge risk factor. You might see increase in anxiety or somebody talking about kind of feeling trapped or feeling in unbearable pain. Um, there might be a change in or an increase in substance use. Um, someone may be looking for ways to access a lethal means, um, maybe even talking directly about suicide. Um, or it may look like an increase in anger or rage, some kind of mood swing, feeling hopeless, changes in their sleep, um, and making plans can even be something that someone may talk about. And so I think the biggest thing is ask. Um, some people are afraid that if they ask or bring up the word suicide, that it might um, make things worse. But in fact, the research tells us exactly the opposite. Ask. Anything else, Diana, you would like to say about the summit before we let you go? Well, I would like to just kind of let any everybody know that if you are feeling um, distressed or having thoughts of suicide or anyone that you know or love is having thoughts of suicide, that you can call our local crisis and suicide helpline at 951-686-HELP or the National Suicide and Crisis Lifeline at 988. And if you're concerned, again, just ask, check out some of the resources that we have at ruhealth.org. And then we also um, are about to launch a suicide prevention coalition website 
So rivcospc.org will also have lots of information on there for anyone that is interested. Um, and I would just like to say that we all have a part to play in suicide prevention. Suicide is preventable. And when we work together, we can make the difference that will save lives. Absolutely. Diana, we appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much.